Hello, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Welcome to TCM and tonight's double feature of championship coaches. In a couple hours, we'll have Knut Rockne All-American. But first, welcome to Indiana basketball. Those are the words of the ex-Marine turned two-time Oscar-winning actor who stars as the coach in our first film tonight. From 1986, Gene Hackman leads the cast of Hoosiers. Hackman is Norman Dale, a former college coach, now leading an underdog high school team in a small Indiana town. He's direct, disciplined, and has the bedside manner of a drill sergeant. So it's hardly surprising that he doesn't get a warm greeting when he arrives. But he sees talent in the school's raw and undisciplined team. Dennis Hopper had a history of playing bad guys on the big screen. Hoosiers gave him a chance to play a good guy, Shooter Flatch, who comes aboard to be Dale's assistant. It's a controversial choice because Shooter is known for being the town drunk. Barbara Hershey is in the cast, too, playing a teacher who's a bit skeptical of this new coach. Hershey appeared earlier in 1986 in the Woody Allen hit Hannah and Her Sisters. Director David Anspaugh makes his feature film debut with Hoosiers after directing television shows like Hill Street Blues, St. Elsewhere, and Miami Vice. For his first feature, he had a formidable leading man. Hackman already had Oscar nominations for Bonnie and Clyde and I Never Sang for My Father, plus a Best Actor win for The French Connection. We'll have more about Hackman after the movie. From 1986, shot entirely in Indiana, based on the true story of the Milan high school basketball team in 1954, this is one of the great sports movies of its time. Hoosiers. I love you guys. Perfect last line for a great sports movie. To me, it has one of the best scenes of any sports film. When Gene Hackman designs that last play in the timeout and he wants to use Jimmy as a decoy because the other team will be expecting Jimmy to take the shot, Hackman wants Buddy to take it. The players, though, won't make eye contact with Hackman. What's the matter with you guys, he yells. Then director David Anspaugh waits exactly the right amount of time before Jimmy and Hackman lock eyes. I'll make it, says Jimmy. Great stuff. My hair's standing up just telling the story. We just saw the movie. The relationship between Hackman and Anspaugh was challenging. Anspaugh said working with Hackman was one of the most unpleasant experiences in my life, but he felt that Hackman's performance was brilliant. Hackman was fairly miserable at the time. He'd recently starred in some box office flops and later confessed to GQ magazine he took Hoosiers because he was desperate for money. He didn't expect the film to do well. Right before shooting a scene, Hackman broke up Dennis Hopper laughing. Dennis, Hackman said, I hope you invested well because we'll never work again after this movie. But Hoosiers was a modest hit at the box office, got excellent reviews, and earned Dennis Hopper an Oscar nomination for Best Supporting Actor. As for Hackman, what do you know? One of the great actors of his generation did indeed work again. A couple of years later, Hackman picked up a Best Actor Oscar nomination for Mississippi Burning from 1988 and won his second Oscar Best Supporting Actor for Clint Eastwood's magnificent 1992 Western Unforgiven. Coming up. Pat O'Brien plays the coach in Knut Rockne All-American. It is next on TCM.